יום הכיפורים. נאמר וואן, מצווה לאכול בערב יום הכיפורים ולבות בסעודה. Today, different than all other days, there's a מצווה to eat. Every day, if you want to eat, you can do it, you can eat. You don't want to eat, you don't, want, you don't have to. Today, there's a מצווה to eat as much as you can. In fact, some hachamim used to suck on candies all day. In order that the mekayem every second, because every second you're eating, even if it's not uh, nourishment, real food, but the candy is also considered eating, and therefore the mekayem, again, one should try to have sauda, they should try to have extra meals, try to have food during the day, drinking, all of course, in order to fast better, but also to mitzvah, hachamim umetaken, that today, one should eat, and hachamim tell us, the one who eats today, and fast tomorrow, it counts as if you fasted both days. So therefore, one should try to, uh, again, even though people are running to work and whatever it is, people should always try to take some food and make sure they eat. And the Chat tells us it's also a surdi ta'annur. Somebody who wants to fast on the, you know, the whole 10 days, usually we allow them to fast. But on this day, Eid of Yom Kippur, one is forbidden to fast, one is not allowed to fast on Eid of Kippur. Second thing that's also nagaya for Eid of Kippur is in regards to Tevila. Malachat tells us that you have any time during the day to be tovel as long as it's before tonight. Of course, once it hits Yom Kippur, one is not allowed to be tovel. But during the day, one should try to go to the Mikveh and be tovel in Yom Tov in honor of Yom Kippur. Again, one should try to do that during the day. It is a busy day, but one should put it into the schedule to do that. And last but not least, tonight, in regards to when the fast starts, Salah says that you have to be more sick than all ala Kodesh. 621 is Shekiah. That's sunset. One has to add time a little bit before 621 and stop eating from then. You don't have to stop eating when you make Mekat Amazon of Sa'udat HaMafseket, which is again the last meal prior to the fast. But, let's say one wants to take a drink after, he wants to eat something after, he's allowed. As long as it's before 621, one would be allowed and you should stop a few minutes earlier before 621. So around 615 should be the time when a person stops all all things, eating, everything should stop at that point. Especially those that are driving to shul, make sure you drive early enough that it's before 6.15 in order that you get here on time and you're not has when it's not Yom Tov and Yom HaKipurim.